All right, let's prep some surf and turf pre-gaming for the Kentucky Derby this Saturday, May 1st. So I'm going to start off with that lobster tail. I want to cut that shell. I want to be able to pull that meat through the shell and set it on top because it's going to get hit with a Woodford Reserve bourbon glaze. Yep. Also got that cowboy rib by keeping it simple, just salt. I'm going to throw some all-purpose rub for some color on that lobster tail. Throwing this on the smoker. So while this is smoking, we're going to get that glaze reduced down. Four ounces of that Woodford Reserve bourbon some butter, some salt, get that reduced down. Halfway through that lobster cook, we're gonna baste it nice and thick. And there you go, there's that finished product. So I wanted to enjoy this meal with my best friend, Telly, since she's always by my side. So little shot of that Woodford Reserve bourbon, hit that lobster, hit that meat, there we go. So if you guys want a chance to win this mint julep kit inspired by the Kentucky Derby, go to nbcsports.com slash derby at home. Not a bad way to surf and turf. You ate shrimp, which means they're massive. Sitting next to two six ounce Wagyu Snake River Farms Manhattan fillets. I've never smoked shrimp before, but I smoked them alongside those uh, fillets, 225 degrees. Then as soon as that steak hit 115 internal, everything transferred over to that Traeger Ranger sear. Boom. I, I love Taco Bell, but have you ever tried a surf and turf crunch wrap supreme? I started off with cooking and browning my ground beef. I made sure it was seasoned and full of flavor. I set my meat aside and started cooking the shrimp. Next, I made my low-carb tostada. Boom, let's assemble. Low-carb tortilla, beef, shrimp, cheese, tostada, sour cream, lettuce, tomato, cilantro, and onion. And now start to fold your tortilla in, just like this. Place your wrap in a pan face down until it's golden brown on both sides. Cut your crunch wrap in half and you have the most delicious lunch on the face of this planet. They were taking surf and turf to the next level. Dry brined filet and fresh Boston lobster. Challenge butter sauce, parsley, garlic, and chili flakes. And smoke over applewood. Quail eggs as our eyes. Sear, challenge butter, churned fresh daily, and perfect for basting. And assemble. Top with more of that incredible farmer owned butter. Cute or creepy, that's for you to decide. Hey guys, tonight we're gonna make a bulgogi surf and turf and a layered bibimbap. Start by grating some garlic, ginger, and an Asian pear. In a bowl, add your pear, ginger, garlic, sesame oil, soy sauce, gochujang, and brown sugar. Slice up some cucumbers and pears and chopped spinach. Add sesame oil and salt, sesame oil and rice vinegar, and salt and sesame oil. Add some norigoma fura cake and sesame oil. Season your steak with oil and salt. Cut your tuna in sesame and soy, then roll with sesame seeds. In 150 degree oil, add your garlic, ginger, bay leaves, and egg yolk. In a hot pan, cook your carrots and spinach. Cook your steak for two minutes on each side, then baste with garlic and butter. Cook your tuna for a minute per side and crisp up some rice. Now let's plate. Add a layer of cucumbers, rice, spinach, crispy rice, carrots, and egg yolk. Fan out your steak and tuna and add your bulgogi sauce. Place some kimchi and top with sesame seeds and scallions. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. In the new year, I want to start mixing up some more seafood with all the steak that I cook. So here's part one of a surf and turf you are not going to want to miss. Put these tails in a cast iron pan with your favorite seasoning and a whole stick of butter. I put these right on the Weber kettle at 300 degrees. They just so happen to be next to a couple racks of ribs. As these were cooking, I basted them with that butter and seasoning mixture. I pulled them at 140. Oh, there's that Wagyu. That's my turf. They'll temp up as I rest them on my Cuisinart XL360 griddle and get ready to cook the Wagyu. Let's go. My friends want surf and turf. My friends get surf and turf. Four beautiful lobster tails and a 16 ounce A5 BMS 12 Wagyu ribeye. Let's throw in an American Wagyu strip steak for good measure and they're all going down on my new Cuisinart XL360. How do you cook lobster tail on a griddle? This griddle has a vented stainless steel lid. So not only can you get a sear, but you can bake, roast, and even smoke. Smoke on a griddle? Oh, <laughs> you guys don't even know the half of it. This was the most insane surf and turf I have ever made. And if you question that, take a look at this. I've said it from day one if you've been following me, y'all. Open door policy. Who's coming over for dinner? If you want this Cuisinart griddle, go hit my profile. The link is there. Time to get your griddle on. A5 Japanese Wagyu BMS 12 lobster tail. That's a surf and turf. If you're looking to impress somebody with your cooking, you have to make them this surf and turf. Today's meats are brought to you by Crowd Cow. Start out by rubbing down your meat with a bit of oil, seasoned with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. 
and drop it in a pan on high heat to sear. Just look at how beautiful that crust is. Drop in some butter, some garlic, and baste until it's done. Now remove it from the heat and let it rest while we make our shrimp. The quality of this shrimp was absolutely unmatched. If you guys want high quality meats, head to the link in my bio and you'll get $15 off your first order at Crowd Cow. We're gonna drown these shrimp in a creamy garlic parm sauce. Butter, garlic, white wine, heavy whipping cream, and some Parmesan cheese goes into a pan. Mix it all together until it's thickened up, then drop your shrimp right in there with some parsley. Mix it all together and then it's ready to eat. Drop your beautifully rested steak right onto a plate. Top it off with some deliciously creamy garlic parm shrimp. Dig in and enjoy. You have to make this. Today we're taking surf and turf to the next level with Wagyu and lobster. Buckle up, this is uncharted territory. Sear and let's make our filling. Lemon, jalapeno, parsley, and a whole bunch of lobster. Mix that with cream cheese and rub. Add to your Blackhawk skirt steak and wrap up your present. And now, our multicolored bacon weave. Cover your beef bomb and smoke over applewood. Pull at 135 and assemble. This is the Blackhawk Scorpion Beef Bomb. Packed with flavor and guaranteed to terrify the kids. Follow on YouTube, full video and recipe coming soon. Wow. All right, king crab legs on the Traeger, let's do it. These are usually pre-cooked, so it's a very quick cook. I like to expose the meat all the way down the leg, so the bottom side is where the shell is softer. Open it up, throw these on for about 20, 30 minutes at 350 degrees. Opening up the shell like that allows me to get butter on the meat and in the shell and just kind of sits in there. So by the time it's all said and done and you pull these bad boys off, you don't even have to dip it in butter. Just pull the meat out of the shell and eat it. Get that garlic butter, carry gold. Oh yeah. Get that cheese. Mm. cheese. White cheddar. Cheddar is better. We got that Kurabuda bacon from Snake River Farms. Boom. The chives. Get that. And we're going back on the Mr. Master Shocker. And boom. That's how we do it. Go to the next. Let's do a surf and turf challenge. Duet this and if you beat me, I'll send you a chef's knife. This is gonna be a fun one. My boys here are ready to cook some good food. To humanely kill a crab, you flip them upside down and in you go. Steam your crabs in a large pot. We'll take our Wagyu filet mignon, generous salt and pepper. Roll it around. No, Jonathan from the third grade, it's not over seasoned and it's not gonna be raw either. A little oil, then in goes the steak. Who can top that crust right there? Add a whole stick of butter, sage and rosemary, and some crushed garlic. All right, how's that look? To our steak butter, I'll add some diced shallot, then our crab meat, some lemon pepper, Old Bay, and heavy cream. Here's the true definition of surf and turf. Add your cream sauce, top it with one more claw. Trust me, I know it looks good, but you don't want to eat your friend. That is amazingly good. Bring on 2021 with this grilled steak Oscar. We're gonna start by making a simple Bernays sauce, sauteing some shallots and then reducing it in white wine vinegar. You can find this whole recipe on my blog over the firecooking.com. Blend it with butter and we're ready to go. Next, let's season up some fillets with some salt and pepper, adding some asparagus, salt, pepper, and red chili flakes, and then sauteing up some lump crab. We're gonna add the steaks onto the asparagus, top it with the crab, and then top it off with that Bernays sauce. Enjoy, recipe on the blog, happy new year. Let's make a surf and turf burger. Start off by seasoning your meat. Let's set these aside and work on our shrimp. Clean your shrimp. That's how you do it, shit, like. Cook your patties for about four or five minutes on each side.
My husband caught this beautiful rainbow trout, so I figured it was the perfect night to make a little surf and turf. We're having trout and elk steak. Start with a little salt and pepper, followed by sliced butter and lemon. Coat skin side up with olive oil before adding a few more lemons and tightly wrapping him in a tinfoil blanket. Bake at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Season your steak with your favorite seasoning. We're using butt rub, but any steak seasoning will work. Heat equal parts olive oil and butter in your cast iron skillet and add your steak. Cook for two minutes on high heat and flip. Baste for three minutes on the flip side before removing from the heat. Let this sit for about seven minutes before you slice into it. Grab your fish out of the oven. You'll know it's done when it flakes with a fork and look how beautiful he is. Make your plate. Your steak will be about medium, medium rare. Add your fish, add a side of veggies, and as always, enjoy you guys.